Thank you for joining me again on this fine day. We're into a really wonderful and serious subject. And the subject is messaging about dreams and, and, and having someone tell you about your future. And we've been reading out of the book of Acts how Paul, Silas and Luke were in, in Philippi and they were in Lydia's house and they were going to prayer every morning. And on the way to prayer and in and out of the town, there was this, this woman that would come to meet them and follow them around and, and keep talking to them. I'm going to read it to you from the Passion Translation. One day as we were going to the house of prayer, we encountered a young slave girl who had an evil spirit of divination. Divination is divining or telling the future or talking to you about your future. The spirit of Python, she had earned great profits for her owners by being a fortune teller. In other words, telling you of things to come. Another translation says, uh, a spirit of divination met, met us who brought her masters much profit by fortune telling. The New Living Translation says, uh, the, uh, this spirit that enabled her to tell the future. Uh, and so, uh, telling the future, I mean, if I came to you and I said, I'm going to tell you, uh, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm wanting you to, I want to tell you about the future, you're going to say, well, I'd really like to hear it. If someone can tell me about my future, if someone can really tell me about what's going on, if someone can, can, uh, can uh, help me get footsteps and do different things and, and help, us, help me be in the future. What a thing. What a powerful opportunity. Well, these men recognized that this slave girl, she was a slave to them. This girl had this demon-possessed uh, um, life. And that this demon that was possessing her was telling people about their lives, what was going on in their lives, and could tell them stuff about themselves. Uh, and, and she used this information, and the spirit used this information to tell them about things that would happen in their lives. How is this possible that such a spirit, a demon spirit, could identify this? Now, let's just go and find out what was being said. Um, uh, let's go and find out what it was being said about Paul and Silas and Luke. The girl followed Paul and us and cried out saying, These men are the servants of the Most High God who proclaimed to us the way of salvation. And this she did for many days. Uh, you know, in other versions, as she kept following us, shouting, These men are servants of the great high God, and they're telling us how to be saved. Uh, I want to read to you another translation. It says, She followed Paul and the rest of us, shouting, These men are servants of the Most High God, and they have come to tell you how to be saved. Everything about what she's saying is factual, correct, accurate. And in fact, it's, it's telling the truth of what could be. These men have come to tell us, and these men are from, they are servants of the great high God, the most high God. These servants have come to tell us the way of salvation, to tell us to, how to be saved. You know, if, I, if, I, if someone was following me around town and would, would be shouting everywhere I went and say, this man is a servant of the most high God. This man is a servant of the great God and he's telling you how to be saved. He's telling you about how, the, how salvation works. I mean, especially if this person is already known around town about this kind of information. Can you imagine how that would boost my, uh, that this would boost me and boost what people would uh, um, give me their ear so that they can hear what I have to say. It might boost my profile, might boost crowd meetings that we're having. I mean, that could sound pretty good. And, and isn't it 
really something that we have to be very careful of, that we're not looking in so many different places. We look to economists, we look to politicians, we look to uh, education specialists, professors, doctors, whatever, medicine, we look to people for people to tell us about what our future is. They divine through their own way of seeing things about what we should do with our time, with our future, and where we should put our money, our energy, our things. So even though they may be factual and they may be accurate, that's not the way to go because the next thing, and we'll talk about it in the next session, Paul had enough of her and said, I command you in the name of Jesus, the anointed one, to come out of her. He rebuked that spirit. Now, at that very moment, the spirit came out of her. This was clear that it was a demon spirit. This was not the spirit of God. And we'll talk about the implications of this. And to us, with visions and dreams and people that speak into your future that are not of God. We'll talk about it in the next session. Thank you for joining me.